excited. In fact, I'm that excited, I frightened my poor cat today because my pins have arrived. My pins here in the post today. And I'm so excited to open it. And I'm still scaring my cat. <laughs> Thinks I'm going to go into a seizure or something. <laughs> John, come meet the wizard in well. Now he's a muggle. He is no way anything but a muggle. Do you want me to come in? Hi. Yeah. Only a muggle would do that. This is John, my husband. He helps me. So from now on, when we do the actual proper box, Wizarding World box, he is going to undo it, unwrap it, sort it all out for me and I'm not going to look at it until I do the video um, but he's going to sort it all out so that it doesn't take so long in the video because obviously with my hands I struggle to unwrap things and stuff and, and get the box open so for now get my box open you could have done that on the video everyone loves that sound a bit late now it was on video well the audio was. it's open we can get into it so in my proper subscription box uh, this week, the proper Wizarding World of Wizarding normal box. Uh, this big thing here, this one, this one, I got a pin in that one, thank you Muggle. I got a proper pin in that one as well and I got so excited, it's only the common one but actually I'm so happy it's the common one. I'm a um, nomad, not a Muggle. You're wearing a new shirt. Someone that is true. He is. Well, it depends because you're in England at the moment, so you are a, a muggle. But, but he is from America, so he's a, a he's a nomad muggle. Nomad. nomad. Muggle. muggle. He's an American in England, so he's a nomad muggle. Nomad. nomad. Muggle. muggle. I got the sorting hat. So that was my first ever pin. Was the sorting hat, which I think is pretty awesome to get the sorting hat as your first ever pin. So I'm going to see now what's in here. Because if I look, the excitement's gone. But same time, I need to look. No. No. They gave me slivering paper. I'm Gryffindor! I'm not a Gryffindor. No, I'm not a sniffering, am I? Even Misty's upset. My cat is upset. I'm upset. Like this green paper. Having none of it. Right. Now they're all upside down because I put all that out. So we're going from the bottom to the top for the box instead. First one I got the Nomad Muggle if I got it in the right place. No match muggle will put it closer because I can't. And looking at the back, it looks like it's supposed to be. I think my eyes are awful. I believe I think it's supposed to be Ron. It could be wrong. My eyes are really, really bad, so you guys are gonna have to help me. But can, uh, no match muggle, give it back. I wanna see. You brat. Right. It looks like it would be wrong because it's got the wrong jump. It's got like a jumper on that would be like a wrong jumper. I'm convinced this is wrong. Misty also says it's wrong. Yeah, you think it's wrong. Let me know. What do you think? Who do you think this is? Could I be right? Could I be wrong? I may be wrong. My eyes are really, really bad. My eyesight is awful. So feel free to help me out here, guys. Next one I've got No Match Muggle, make sure I got it in the right place. I've got the thumbs up, so apparently I'm holding it right, but I'm shaking, so would you like to hold make sure? And again from the back, from a distance, because I got bad eyes, I have I can see white hair and it's got oh, it's a blooming mouth voice, slivering mouth voice. 
let's have a close look yes definitely a Malfoy Mr. Malfoy that's why I had that is why I had the slivering paper on mine because they sent me a Malfoy maybe I would have had a Harry Potter if I had the Gryffindor proper paper and just so you're also aware, you get different types as well. You can get common, you can get silver. I gotta get my magnifier out on my sorry. My eyes are really, really bad. I cannot the see classic really. silver and gold. As the nomad muggle just said, you get classic. I oh, know you get original silver and gold. And I believe my Malfoy is a silver. I got a silver Malfoy. And I got a, a classic Ron. I believe it is a Ron. And the next one I have is this one. Please. Make sure I got it in the right place. Now, looking from the back again, I'm quite far away from it. Oh, you prat. <laughs> it's somebody else with bad eyesight. <laughs> it's Moody Mad Eye. I can find it in the magnifier. I have the silver version of Moody Mad, Mad Eye, also known as Alistair Moody, but I prefer to call it Moody Mad Eye. So, maybe if he lent me his eye, I would be able to see better. Um, and then I got one more pick. One more, one more, one more. Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? This is the end of it though. Once we see this pin, the excitement is gone. Ta-da! Right, looking from the back from a distance. We have, oh my eyesight's awful. I can see like white hair in the picture. It looks like maybe an older man. It's gray hair. Is it gray hair? Wow, well, close. I don't even see any lips or anything or mouth. No eyebrows. See some eyes. See something white under his head. Let's have a look closer look, because I sound really stupid. Oh, it's got a mouth, he's even got a moustache. He do got eyebrows. Right. Again, I'm a little unsure on this one. And remember, my eyesight is really, really bad. Um, I think this possibly is Gillet. Gillet. Oh, what's his name? Gillet what? I think this is Gillet Griddleward from um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. But I thought these were all pins from Harry Potter. So I'm, I don't know, a little confuzzled. First, I thought maybe it was like Lupin. But Lupin doesn't have all this hair up here. He has it to the side. And then I thought maybe it was Bertrand Crouch, like not Junior, the other one. Um, and then I realised again, he doesn't have all that much hair, so it can't be him. And Crouch, again, he has hair, but he has doesn't have white or grey hair. So, um, yeah, I think it's got to be from Fantastic Beasts and Being. I think it's got to be from Fantastic Beasts and Being. So it's got to be Gullet Grindelwald and... Um, can you just let me know? Am I right or am I wrong? Is that Gullet Grindelwald? And the other one I'm a little unsure on is this one here. I'm sorry if I'm not holding them right. I can't reach like John Can. Oh, sorry. I can't reach like No Man. No Man. Logo. Logo. John. Um, and I think that may be Ron. So just let me know down in the comments if I'm seeing them right. I really do have bad eyesight, so I really do appreciate if you let me know 
who they are and um, if I'm getting them wrong. And if I believe something is right and I still am getting it wrong, let me know because, again, I really do appreciate it because I do live with a non-mad muggle and, you know, he knows some about Harry Potter's, but he's never read the books. He's only watched the film, so the films only tell you so much. So, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with my pins. I love my pins. Um, to get my pins, though, I... I didn't, uh, I didn't do the subscription because I know I can't afford to do a subscription on pins and my World of Wizardry box every month. I just can't afford to do that every month. But what I did do is when I put in for my World of Wizardry subscription box, they um, then sent me a code that gave me like, I think, 30% off or something. So I used that 30% to get myself a t-shirt. The cookbook, which I knew I was going to need to put all the cook things in, uh, all the cook recipes that come in each month from now on, and to get myself a non-subscription version of this, which is this still this month's subscription one, but it's the non-subscription one, which normally they charge five pounds more, but actually with the percentage off, it worked out cheaper. But I really did enjoy opening these pins, and I plan to put these pins on the back of my wheelchair which we're gonna go do now and then we're gonna slip back in and show you how it looks on the back of my wheelchair because these are gonna look awesome and it will take me a while to get that done but I am really really happy um, and it is worth the money don't get me wrong it's really worth the money um, for the pins they're really good quality pins I just don't have the ability at the moment to be able to pay for them so if I had the money I'd be ordering these monthly as well as my big box but if I was to choose between the pins and the big box, I'd go for the big box. Because sometimes you do get pins in there anyway. And my aim is to cover the back of my chair in pins. That's what I want to do. I want to achieve that. So if you do happen to have a pin that you have more than one of, please, please send them to me. I would adore you forever if you would send them to me. My address is in the description. Um... Because I just want to cover the back of my wheelchair in Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, pins. Because I think then I will have the most awesome wheelchair in the world. And have you noticed I've got the red seating cover on today? The awesome, awesome, non-match muggle John put the right seating on for today. And I'm so super happy. And if you think you would enjoy getting these pins I'm gonna try and see if I can hold them myself Ugh. if you think you would enjoy oh bugger that didn't work did it all right no match muggle come and help if you think you would enjoy getting pins like this go check out geek gear they are pretty awesome and they are so cute I'll put the link down below Look how cute they are. And please do let me know about the two I'm a little confused about. I'm s my eyes are just so awful and I would really appreciate the help. And not forgetting this awesome one I got last in my other box. So I've got five to put on my chair. We're going to go do that now and we'll be right back. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> and my nose! We are back. And we have the pins on the back of my headrest, which is pretty awesome. I'm so excited to show you. But before we do, I wanted to tell you, each of the pins has two pin bits with safety bits on the back, plus little uh, plasticky sort of rubbery safety bits, which is really cool. But it's even more cool because the fact that it has two pins it makes them more secure. They're not going to fall off so easy, which is really good because when I'm out and about, I'm bumping all over the place because obviously I've got six wheels and I like going off road and doing all kinds of crazy things. So I have no fear of losing my pins. No man, no man, no go, no go. It's going to show you the back of my headrest with all my awesome pins so you can get an idea of what I'm aiming to do. This is my awesome t-shirt I got in my box. In my um, normal big subscription box. It's um, nope from Fantastic Beasts and Beans and if you can see 
There's no mad muggle right now. He is literally leaning backwards over the sink to be able to show you this awesome t-shirt that Geek Gear sent me in my other subscription box. Um, oh, this goes in dark too, by the way. But yeah, no, my opinions are my own because I pay for everything myself. And I would never, even if I didn't pay for them, but I will do pay for them, um, I would never give anything but my own opinions because that's just me. I also want to ask a very big favour of everybody here. Um, if anybody has got the time, please go check out my vlogs. And even if what I, the messages I'm conveying through my vlogs is not something that is relevant to you, you are going to know somebody who it is relevant to. Everybody in this world knows people who are caring for other people or are disabled in some way. I am trying desperately to reach out to other disabled people and other people who care for people who are disabled, especially unpaid carers like my no match muggle husband here. Um, and that's what we're vlogging about re every day and please help us by spreading awareness of us and allow them to find us so that we can help them and let them know they're not alone through all these struggles that are out there in the world and let us help them and to do that please also subscribe and like our videos even if you just like the Harry Potter ones um, it helps us to get reach out to more people out there who we could help and I would appreciate that so much so please do subscribe like and most important get the message out there to other people who are disabled and who are carers that there are people on the on YouTube out there trying to reach out to them and let them know they're not alone in their struggles but for now thank you for tuning in I will catch you next month when I unbox my February Big Harry Potter World of Wizardry box uh, from Geek Gear and I won't have the pins next month, sorry, I can't afford to keep that up, but I will have my big box. Also, go check out my vlogs, I do them daily, every day, 6pm UK time, a new one comes out. So yeah, take care, bye! <laughs> no, I'm not the troll.